Hello, Vinyl community. This is Dustin back again, and I'm here today with my friend Ryan, fellow collector. Um, known Ryan for was it six years? Six years now. Yeah. Been collecting records for about the same time, and uh, he's here to talk, share some of his favorites. First off, we're gonna start. We're listening to uh, Genesis Invisible Touch. This is personally my favorite Genesis album. It's more their uh, 80s pop sound. They got away from their prog sound a little bit, but does have Peter Gabriel, so some people might be a little put off by it, but definitely check it out. One of their best sounds. Love Bill Collins' vocal songs. Alright, uh, I'm going to start off with some of the stuff that I recently just got. Uh, first, Faster Pussycat. A great LA 80s hard rock band. I wouldn't call them hair metal. They're definitely more rock and roll. I have showed this a little bit earlier, but I got another copy. Felt like I need to show it again. I'll try the cover. Great album. Um, Wake Me When It's Over is just straight ahead rock and roll from start to finish. Not a bad song on here. Check it out. Um, another thing I recently got was Joe Satriani's first album. It's uh, Not of This Earth. And when I got this, I noticed blue vinyl, which I didn't have a blue vinyl yet, so I needed that. And if you're into kind of like that uh, jazzy funk type solo guitar sound, you'll definitely love this album. Give it a check out if you guys see it somewhere for pretty cheap. I think I got it for, uh, oh, on here. I actually paid eight bucks for it, believe it or not. I probably talked him down a little bit, but eight bucks. One of my new favorite albums, Here and Eight, Stars. He's laughing about something. But, uh, this is like Live Aid. Uh, um, and what it was is in 1986, I believe. Yeah, 1986. A bunch of the 80s hair metal rockers got together and recorded one song called Stars. And there's some other tracks on the back, but mainly get it for the track Stars. Great song from start to finish. Like 20 different solos in it, 20 different singers. Great album. Check it out. If you see that anywhere, grab it in a heartbeat. Um, these next two need no introduction. Led Zeppelin 3. Got this for a dollar in a dollar bin somewhere. A dollar? I'm not even, really? even going to talk about this because you guys know. Yeah. And then this one cost me a little more than a dollar, but Mint Condition Houses of the Holy. It's Led Zeppelin, guys. I don't even need it. Arguably one of their definitely top two albums. I think. I can see that. I wouldn't yeah. argue with you if you said that. Oh, Hills and Far Away. I mean, it's just such a. And then, uh, the last one I want to show is actually one of my other friends. Well, one of our other friends. He's really into like shred instrumental stuff, even more than me. And uh, this is by, this is a project by a guitarist named Tony McAlpine was one of the leaders of uh, the 80s instrumentalist Shredder Guitar. And uh, this album is called Project Driver by a band called Mars. And, uh, there's a shot of the band right there. And Tony McAlpin plays guitar. Tommy Aldridge plays uh, drums. Rudy Sarzo actually plays bass on this album. And then I don't know the, the other guy's name. Uh, oh, Robert Rock is the lead vocalist. And I'd compare it to maybe like Racer X type stuff if you guys are familiar with that. If not, you guys need to check out Racer X because they're also one of the best 80s bands out there. And uh, that does it for my new finds. I have some more stuff to show you in a second, but Ryan wants to show you some of his favorite albums. Uh, uh, we can save that one for last? Yeah. I'm not going to say it. Alright. Just got a couple over here. Um, just pull this one out of the back of my collection. Oh, there you go. Rush, Hemispheres. Actually, the only Rush album that I own. My dad had a large box of records in in the garage, and that's what I was into back in the day. Um, that's when I first like got started with records, and I wanted like a, a record player. I got one that never worked and stuff like that. And I remember this was one of the first albums that I ever really loved for the drumming on it because somebody told me about Neil Peart, like how incredible of a drummer Neil Peart was. So I just went and I just listened to this and I loved it. And it's a very fluid album, it's a concept album, incredible lyrics. Um, the last song, La Via Strangiato, is such a 
is such a just a calm song and it's clean and it's fluid and the whole album just goes together. So, oh yeah, show on the inside. All right, so the back and it opens up. I love it when records open up. Has the lyrics, has a couple pictures. Oh, you need you can go set that over there. And then my actual favorite of my entire collection, the Yardbirds, just because it has Jeff Beck. Jimmy Page and Eric Clapton, three guitarists working to, uh, together. This is before Cream, Led Zeppelin, all that stuff. This 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 is where they all got started. Them and uh, the Rolling Stones actually started playing at this place called the Crawdaddy Club, and that's where they all got started. They totally sound like Muddy Waters. It's all um, kind of gritty, dirty blues in this album, and, and I just love it. This was a super band that formed before they were all superstars. Exactly. Pretty yeah. Much. So I love Superman. it because it's so early and just, um, and it's just, I just love it. That, 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 that was one of my favorite. And yeah, and I, and I love how they're all wearing the, uh, the bird masks. And then this one, not in the most excellent condition, but I love this record. Um, David Crosby, Stephen Stills, Graham Nash, and Neil Young in Deja Vu. I love it. First of all, just because of the record, the, the actual case is like this weird leathery kind of thing it's 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 not normal it's like textured and stuff like that and this and the and the front um uh, sepia tone picture actually looks like looks like it was like hand glued on so it's pretty diy i like it um this album actually features jerry garcia and has a lot of interesting instruments on it has like um you know like a mouth organ and stuff like that harmonica and this album is, is, is still one of my favorites. So, yeah, there you go. All right, dude. And now, now for my personal favorite. <laughs> thanks for sticking with us, guys. The last thing I want to show you is um, probably my favorite record in my collection so far. It's not old. It's actually a new band. Probably the greatest band ever. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Ever. These guys are really... Um, you're either gonna be really offended by them, or you're gonna love them. Or, yeah, <laughs> and um, they play '80s style hard rock. They actually play in LA now at the Key Club all the time. And they, this is their second album, and I just got it on vinyl. Steel Panther. If you don't know these guys, and you're you not, should. and you're not offended easily, go look it out. This album, and go look out their first album, Feel the Steel. And uh, here's a shot of these guys in the back. And these guys would have been the biggest thing in the 80s if they were in oh the 80s. Oh my god. And uh, here's just what you can expect. Uh, a little bit of lyrics on the inside. And honestly, the guitar work and all the instrumental work on this album is amazing. And what I love most about this album, besides being extremely 80s, this album's called Balls Out by the way, is uh, this isn't really a sticker. And there's no real hole right here, and there's absolutely no ring wear. They just wanted it to look like he got it out of like a dollar bin somewhere. It actually says a uh, dollar sixty nine on the price. But Which must be a pain if the price they sell it for is different. You know, I'm like, still waiting for my Blaze cases to come in, but as soon as I get those, this is the first album that's gonna um, get a Blaze case. And check out Steel Panther if you're into '80s hair metal at all. Great album. And Great it's cool because they're because they're not all gimmick, you know. It's not just that the lyrics are funny or something yeah. like that. They're actually like a very solid. They band. are. They sound very, every... very good, very professional. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, first two person uh, video here, so we're talking over each other a bit. But they were the singer and guitarists were originally in a Van Halen tribute band, and they do covers of everything. They do Rat, they do White Snake, they do Journey, and if you look up on YouTube some videos of them doing this stuff live, they are the most perfect cover band slash real band I've ever heard. Definitely my favorite band alongside Crash Diet for post-2000 bands. Go check out Steel Panther. And uh, that's, that's it for it. this video, guys. Um, for those of you guys that haven't subscribed to me yet, feel, Do free, it. To <laughs> feel free to subscribe. Um, feel free to comment. Tell me how I'm wrong. Tell me how I'm right. I love it. No how I'm right. That's tips. Um, and I just want to say to everybody, I've been loving watching your videos, and I've turned on Ryan. He's yeah, going to start watching cool. your videos. And I just can't get enough of this. Thanks for accepting me into this community so fast. I've only been here for two weeks, and I've already got 
14 subscribers, which is more than I could ever hope for. Even though it's like Lazarus has got, I think, what has he got? 400 now. Nice. But I have 14, and I'm happy with that. <laughs> but if you want to give me 386 yeah, yeah, <laughs> more, that's great. Uh, peace out, guys, and thanks. This is Dustin, and I'm Ryan. Oh. Signing off. <laughs> Bye.